everyone, welcome back to Preface Nomad Junior. I'm Jacqueline and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make apps talk. So I'm going to add the previous translation project made by Amanda yesterday. I thought it was very useful, but it got me thinking. What if I don't know how to pronounce the words? So I added a speaking function, and now it can help me read out the translation too. Konnichiwa. Like that. I can even select it to talk in different voices by changing my translator. Konnichiwa. 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 Meow. <laughs> So I will need more than one translator because remember, our speaking translator allows us to talk in different voices. So I will need to add a man, a toddler, a monster, and finally a cat, which I'm going to upload. I uploaded these sprites from Flat Icon. You can do so too. So originally, our translator used the say block to show what it has translated to the audience. We, on the other hand, want to make our translator say it out loud. To do this, we are going to use a scratch extension called text to speech, which can help us read out our translations out loud. Next, we need to figure out how the translations can be set out loud. So let's take a look at the text to speech blocks. There's a block here that says speak hello, which lets us edit what they will say. There's another block here called set language to English. Now, what we need to do is take this translate block out of the same block and then throw it away. Now our set language block can be used to set the language to speak in. So we can put our variable translation language into our set language block here. We will need to tell the translator what to speak, which is in the translation block. Let's put it into the speak block and put them all together. So now our translator should work. Let's try it. Let's try translate hello to French. It should say bonjour. Bonjour. So remember, we don't only have one translator, right? We have five. Let's create a code to switch the translator whenever it is clicked. So let's get the when this sprite clicked block and put the next costume block in it so that it'll change its voice. The voice accordingly to the costume. Let's look at this text to speech block here that says set voice to alto. This allows us to choose the voice to say our text in. So let's get an if then block and put it as the first block to run when we do the translation. Our first costume is a now, and she should supposedly talk as a lady. Therefore, we set a condition when the costume number one is one, which is the al, we set the voice to alto. Repeat this for the rest of the translators. Our second costume is a baby, so we set its voice to squeak. Our third costume is a monster. So, we set its voice to giant. The fourth is our cat, so we should set this voice to kitten. And the final one is a man, so we need to set his voice to tenor.
Let's try it out. So let's translate hello to Italian with yow. Does it work? Ciao. Yay, it does work. Let's try the other translators too. Ciao. Ciao. Meow. Ciao. So, a brief recap on what we learned today. Today, we edited a scratch project by adding a text to speech function, which helps us read text out loud. Coupled with our translation app, we made a very powerful translator. So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy the project. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get our daily contents. I'm Jacqueline, and this is Preface Nomad Jr.